Uh, I am Nancy. I'm Arda. And we are... From me to, to you. you. <laughs> and today we wanted to share with you our Holy Grail Ride or Die beauty products. Yes. So, let's start. Let's get started. Okay, so we're starting off with primer first. So do you want to start? I do not use oh. primer. Okay. <laughs> so, um... My favorite primer is this Kane and Austin. It's a mattifying mattifying primer. Ooh. It like fills in your pores. It feels super like silky smooth, mm -hmm. and it's it's like a a nude color. So it, it kind of can can pretend to be foundation. Cool. Yeah. Oh, so there is like some color in it. Yeah, it's like oh. like oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, I guess I kind of use my BB cream as mm. primer slash foundation slash actual BB cream. <laughs> the next one is foundation. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm more into BB cream, but I have mm. tried foundation because I love trying makeup. And I kind of have two, but they're not like the traditional squeeze um, bottle ones. This is a stick foundation by Hourglass. So you just kind of just put like a few lines on your face like a cat. That's so convenient. And then like blur it in. Like a cat. And <laughs> like then whiskers. <laughs> blur it in. I usually use a beauty blender. Today mm. I use my fingers just because, you know, sometimes they're the best tools. Yes. I also have um, this Stila putty. It's putty? It's putty. Yeah. And it kind of just fills in your face as well. And I mean, I hit pan, obviously. Yeah. Can you use that all over your face? Yeah, you can use it all over your oh. face. And I really, really like it. So those are wow, my two foundations. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, let's just move on to BB cream <laughs> since I don't have foundation. I would love to wear foundation, but I think I feel a little bit self-conscious with like, like my skin getting covered, even mm. though I'm self-conscious about it. But I think BB cream has like the best amount of coverage for me. Yeah, I don't like anything that feels like cakey or like you have yeah. stuff on your face. Mm -hmm. um, that's, I love, I would choose BB cream over foundation yeah, as well. Yeah, same. Um, so my BB cream of choice, ooh, yours is fancy looking. I've been using this for like years. I think I got my first bottle in college, which was a long time ago. <laughs> But I've just been repurchasing it consistently. Um, my first one was from Korea, but I've been purchasing it on Amazon since after that. But this is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream um, in medium, the medium shade, I believe. But it has SPF 42, which is probably my favorite thing about it. And it gives me like a pretty light coverage. Um, but for all my other flaws, I have concealer anyway, so. <sighs> <laughs> oh, if you like SPF, then this primer also has <laughs> SPF 50 in it. So I should look into it. Really multi-purpose. Mm -hmm. But the BB cream that is my absolute favorite, ride or die, is this one from Skin Foods. And I love this. Unfortunately, they have discontinued it. No. So I've been so sad. Um, oh, if you have a, a lighter skin tone, though, yeah. they do have um, it still available. They don't have it in your tone? Mm-mm. I'm number six in golden beige, what? but if you know where I can get some skin food, BB cream, please let me know. That's so sad. And it smells really good it too, It smells right? so good. It smells like peaches. Now, Too Faced just came out with a like sake. peach one. Ooh. They do not smell the same. I prefer this one, but this one will do for now. And this one is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. Comfort matte foundation. I feel like I mean I guess it's foundation, but I don't think it's that thick. I kind of use it as like a BB cream, yeah. And it has a pump. Oh, it smells more like a beauty product than yeah. This one feels like yeah. Okay, but it smells good still. So for now, that is the alternative. Ooh, infused with peach and sweet fig cream. I guess we're moving on to concealer. What do you I have? I actually do have concealer. Yeah. I have this um, Maybelline a Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles, but I use it all over my face. Usually I use it like around my nose, my under eyes, and like some problem areas. <laughs> but, 
But the thing with this is like it usually comes with a sponge and I, I take it off all the time because I feel like there's bacteria build up there over time and I, I'm not all about that. So that's actually why I apply most of my makeup with my fingers because I feel like I can clean it and you know know exactly what's going on in my face versus I'm not the best brush keeper so <laughs> I I think like for a while I was just using two day old brushes and just kind of feeling the filth on my mm. face so yes. everything I have is like built for finger usage fingers are mm. great <laughs> Uh, the one that I have is the it's super popular. It's the um, Tarte Shape Tape. I I'm surprised it. that they don't sell this. I mean, I'm not surprised, but they don't sell this at Sephora, so you have to kind of get it at Ulta or on their website. Oh, really? Yeah, it's one of those like store exclusives at the moment. Wow. Um, I'm in the color tan sand. It's, it's really like it, it's not cakey. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes concealers can get really yeah. cakey. This one kind of just blends in. That's nice. And I use it with a beauty blender as well. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Mm -hmm. We're checking along to all over setting powder. And I'm just gonna throw an under eye setting powder too because I don't have a yeah, I, I do I don't I don't um separate them. I kinda use the same thing. Oh, okay. this is an interesting one. We bought this and I say we because Nancy and I went to a makeup expo like a couple <gasps> years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we both had never tried like loose or loose powder powders, setting. Yeah. And we wanted to try the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So we bought one and we split it. Man, I have very faint memories of this. And I still have some um, in here. And I think what's really important with this one though is to use mm. a really good brush. And I mm. use the Too Faced Mr. Right brush, but it's so fluffy. I feel like I just oh. pat it in and it just sets my concealer um, more nice. than anything. Yeah. I really liked that when I used it, but I stopped using powder because I stopped using brushes. So, you know, you can't really just <laughs> poof it on. I guess you could have like someone blow it on two <laughs> every morning. We should just record that. <laughs> then you just dust it off. Like, yes. Okay, moving on to bronzer. Do you have a favorite bronzer? Yes. Ride or die for sure is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Ooh, chocolate soleil. This one smells like. Cocoa. Mm, it smells exactly like cocoa powder. I think I like makeup that smells nice. Yeah. That, that, that smells like chocolate or or peaches. Yeah. But I've, I've hit pan on this one and I've already repurchased another one. Oh, you did? But I, lo I just use it like to, to frame my face and then right here. That's nice. Yeah, I actually used to use actual cocoa powder to like brush my face. It. Um, I guess I'm kind of cheap when it comes to makeup. So so like all of those like DIY makeup stuff I've tried a lot of. Um, I don't use bronzer very consistently anymore, but when I do I use like this kind of like this NYX Wonder Stick and it's very used up. It's pretty dirty. But I I use the slick side and it's not bad it's not going to give you a lot of definition or like you can't do crazy contouring but sometimes you know like when i eat a lot of hot cheetos that night and i wake up with a puffy face i feel like i just need to carve out those cheekbones a little bit more <laughs> so sometimes i'll use this and i think it's nice because i mostly bought it for traveling because it's just so convenient mm. to have highlighter and bronzer in it wombo combo though, yeah yeah, exactly. Even though neither of them are like amazing, I think it does the job for the size that it is. Yeah. So disclaimer, I never wore makeup until 2012. Yeah, so it's a very recent thing. So Nancy met me right before I started mm -hmm. trying makeup and then I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and then I was hooked. And then suddenly she, every other week she'd be like, hey Nancy, try <laughs> he needs to have this. Yes. <laughs> she would just like give out makeup to everyone. That's so <laughs> funny. I feel like I've kind of, over the years, I've slowly tried to dial down a little bit more. And I've always just mostly used drugstore products anyway. So she's like my gateway to <laughs> good products without having to try a lot. <laughs> I am very much a huge fan of trying like stuff at Sephora. So yeah, I've tried a lot. Do you have a favorite highlighter? 
I do. My favorite highlighter, I, I don't go like bold. I kind of just go oh, yeah. a little lighter. So, oh, I love this. It's so pretty. So I like the hourglass one and I use the ambient lighting powder. Mm -hmm. And that's in dim light right here. I love it. it. I feel like it's not too much for me. Um, and it seems like to be really finely milled. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. My favorite highlighter is actually this Master Strobing Light Stick. Wait, Master Strobing Stick by The Face Studio. And it just gives you like this amazing, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like this, like, this, uh, like this pop, you yes. know? I love it. And then when I don't have this, I really love glittery highlighters that just make you kind of look like a unicorn. So when I don't have that and I happen to have my eyeshadow palette, I'll use the crap out of this highlighter color. Or it's not a highlighter color. It's, I think it's, it's just like an eyelid color, but it's way too glittery for my eyes. So sometimes I'll just like, and then, ah. <laughs> yes. And sparkle, so that's, that's my favorite highlighter. Blush? Oh, we skipped blush. Oops, my bad. So for blush. So my favorite blush is the Clinique Cheek Pop. And this is in the color Cold Pop. Ooh. And for my deeper skin, I think I really like like darker shades. Yeah. It's also one of my favorites to use in the fall. Are you wearing that right now? Yes. Oh, wow. So I, I think. I guess it looks that dark in the. Yeah, I think yeah. when you put it on your face, it kind of yeah. shears out a little bit. You can always build it up, but yeah. I don't want it to be too, mm -hmm. too cold a pop. Yeah, I get you. Okay, so for blush, for me, I always match my blush to my lipstick yes. color. So I basically just use my lips, like I'll, I'll put on lipstick and then just like dab it from there and like flush it out. <laughs> I love watching Nancy do her makeup. It's, <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. It's a... Uh, Innovative. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll show you my favorite lipstick later on. I'll just go with that. Yeah. Okay, so next up is brows. Um, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So on one side it has the pencil and the other side it has the spoolie. What a coincidence because that's my favorite as well. <laughs> I usually... Uh, in the past, I used to use that exclusively, and it was just perfect for everything. Um, but I started using it so much that I would, I would like go through a pencil mm -hmm. every month, and it does get pretty pricey. So uh, I found like an alternative that's not as great, but like does the, does mm -hmm. the job, and it's the the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in black instead of brown, and it's okay. I still think Anastasia would be like my go-to holy grail. This is just like a good, cheap alternative if you are just going through it way too fast. So, <laughs> and, and the eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette. Okay. So I think for the eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna go with the Laura Mercier. I think this is like the Artiste palette. Not 100% sure on the name, but it's, it has like purples and and creams. I love it. And browns. And purples really help brown eyes stand out. I love purples. Yeah. If I'm going to do a color on my lid that's not brown, it's usually purple. Mm -hmm. um, but We're all about that neutral yeah, Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a, more of a quad, but it's my absolute favorite, which is the Tom Ford um, quad. And this one is in Coco Mirage. But I think this one, the formula, I can not use a brush. If I really just had my fingers, I can probably Ooh, get away with it. I don't need a mirror. It's like, it's so like proof, like yeah, beginner proof for uh, eyeshadow. And that's the Tom Ford. It's a, it's mm. a lug, it's just a splurge, just it's a splurge. Yeah. But I, I take it everywhere. I travel a lot for work. And yeah, I it's take a very it. convenient size. Convenient size, mm -hmm. it has all the neutral browns, it has your mm -hmm. um, highlight bone color. Mm -hmm. so, Sweet. I love that one. I like that. And I'm always excited to hear like what eyeshadow palettes she loves, because that's her main thing is yes, eyeshadow. That's yeah. Eyeshadow palettes are my favorite thing to yeah. explore with. Mm -hmm. So mine is the Too Faced Natural Eye. I already actually got this for me. You got this for me. No, right? I think you bought it, but I was with you. 
Okay, it was at the same <laughs> expo. <laughs> but I bought the matte version of this afterwards, and mm. I it's not the same. Like, I... I thought I would like matte more than like glittery colors, but man, this just has like a special place in my heart. If it had a mirror, that would just be like mm. out of this world. But it's perfect. It has like enough matte shades, enough glittery shades. So I always take this for travel mm -hmm. as well um, because I can just do daytime looks, nighttime looks so easily, anytime, anywhere in the world. Anytime. Yeah, but I've been using this for years now. It's been three years. Mm -hmm. Three years, yeah. And I've hit pan on a lot of it. Still working my way through the glittery ones, of course. <laughs> but this is amazing. I think the only thing missing from this is like a... I like like redder shades sometimes or like more pinky shades. So, I mean, it's not terrible because I, I could just use lipstick for that too. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> The next is uh, eyeliner. So I like using pot eyeliners, um, the Bobbi Brown in black ink. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice this has um, a post-it behind it. Yeah, March 2016. I was watching a YouTube video and they were telling us how to like go online and see when you're beauty products were manufactured so you know how long it's been sitting on the shelves or how long you've had it in your collection and i was like going through all my makeup and putting post-its on the back oh of my, my makeup. goodness that's a good idea i was just like very curious um but i really like it i use it with um, a sigma e65 brush and i just think it's really easy to put on yeah like i'll travel with a pencil uh, um eyeliner but i really if I had to pick my favorite. This is mm -hmm. it. Yeah, now I'm starting to wonder how old my makeup is. Because some of these have been around for a while, you know. But I think eyeshadow is probably the least suspect. But it's powder. Yeah, but I imagine like most of the liquid stuff is a little bit shakier. Better. Mascara. So next up is mascara. Um, oh wait, I didn't even say my favorite eyeliner. Okay, okay. I don't usually wear eyeliner. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mascara. Uh, my favorite one is this one I got during the like the <gasps> Star Wars. That is so good. It's from CoverGirl and it's the waterproof, the super sizer, and it was like a, for a promotion. It had mm -hmm. like different sayings. This one is, "Do or do not. There is no try." I really, really love this. But then when the promotion was over. And I just bought the CoverGirl waterproof, the super the sizer. Same. It wasn't the same. And I yeah. bought another tube, just like maybe it's just that tube. Yeah. But that one wasn't the same either. And I don't understand. It's so good. I'm so sad it's over. <laughs> I Maybe I'm just getting the wrong tube, but I I, I don't know. So I tr have tried the um, Benefit Roller Lash. It's cute. I really like how it's designed. It looks like how those like hair rollers. Oh yeah. Um, but I, uh, I think the the wand Ooh. is very similar to the one that I like from CoverGirl, yeah. so it works for me. I've tried a lot of mascara, and since I don't wear eyeliner often, um, I pretty much focus all of my energy into mascara. And I've tried a lot, and I I think the Star Wars one is one of my favorites. But this is the one I always go back to. It's the Ma Ooh, there's a lot of Maybelline products in this. <laughs> it's the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof Mascara. I always use waterproof just because it holds better. Um, but this one, it's like I love it because it's just not clumpy. It uh, you can build it up really well. It looks really natural because even though I love having large long eyelashes, I don't like it looking very spidery. So this gives me length, thickness, and naturalness. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, <laughs> this category is not in the ride or die tag, but I think mm. what's important for my lashes, since they're very like yeah. straight down like a curtain, um, <laughs> is to have a really good eyelash curler. And I use the Shiseido one because yeah. um, it's fit more from like my almond shaped eye and it doesn't hurt to curl my lashes where some it's other hard. ones where where it's more like of a, a rounder eyelash oh, curler yeah. like it'll 
really hurt. Yeah, the I eyes. have a Shiseido one too, but then like I, it's not shaped like that, so I have to like, like mm. kind of like work it around my eyes, cause yeah, all my mm. eyes, man. <laughs> lipstick. Lipstick. You're big on lipstick. I like lipstick too. I think if, I am just looking at your <laughs> lipstick right now. And if I wasn't to put on any makeup, which is most days, I usually go without makeup. Mm -hmm. But if I were to just put on one thing, I would be lipstick. Really? I would wash my face and put lipstick on. Um, so I don't use like lipsticks out of tubes as often as I use lipsticks lipstick pencils mm -hmm. so my favorite one is from bite these are the high pigment lip pencils and i really like bite because it smells good and it's food grade i've never smelt it like, this one i've have, had one though let me see this one scent isn't strong this one's oh yeah it yeah. smells like kind of like a like my mom's lipsticks i don't know it's like the classic lipstick smell so i i like i like bite a lot Mm -hmm. I've even gone to their um, lab in San no, in New York, oh, and really? created my own like <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. bite lipstick color, mm -hmm. and I I use that one as well. Mine is I combine two actually. I have my what is this called? My N Y X um, Pure Red Rouge lipstick that I got at the beauty place <laughs> beauty convention too. And now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. And it does come off pretty quickly because it's I'm not applying it on thickly. So I do have a man. This always rubs off. I've per this is probably like my tenth one that I've purchased, but it's a lip stain, and I love lip stain so much more than lipsticks. This is in Adore. I think this is the Just Bitten or Kissable Lips. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I love this thing. I carry it around everywhere. Um, the next category is liquid lipstick. Mm -hmm. I don't wear liquid lipsticks as often because mm -hmm. it kind of dries my lips. Oh, yeah. But if I really want staying powder, um, I need it to last throughout the day, then yeah, I'll put on a liquid lip. And I usually will use the Kat Von D ones. Um, this was like a limited edition color they had for a mm -hmm. charity. I love the caps. But I think the mini one, the mini sizes will do just fine yeah. for someone who doesn't use it as often. And this one is in Lolita, which is one of their I love most that popular color. colors. It, is it nude on you? Pretty much. Yeah. It's, it's a really good nude color for mm -hmm. me. Uh, I, I don't use lip, liquid lipsticks because I'm scared of really screwing it up and like just like drawing a streak on it. I think that's why I don't use eyeliner too. Like if I do, I'll use mm. pencil or eyeshadow. But... Like anything where I have the potential of just screwing all of my work up, it's I'm out, you know. But if you swatch them and then you wipe them off with a normal like makeup wipe, they usually don't come off. Yeah. On the first go, uh -huh. so they have staying power. Yeah, and I just I don't think I'm precise enough for that. But I do love red lips and like really bright. She looks stuff. really good in red Aww. lips. The next one is lip gloss. Lip gloss reminds me of middle school. <laughs> I love it. So my favorite lip gloss is Bite, but I checked on the Sephora website and they don't mm -hmm. have it anymore. So I'm kind of sad, but um, mm. anytime I wear like any lipstick, I'll put this on. Wow. Okay, this one has more of the, Ooh, the yeah. scent. Um, Almost peachy. You're very peachy. Yes. <laughs> I think... A, cool tip to get like a darker lip is to add purple oh really? it doesn't come off as purple but it makes whatever lip color you have a little bit darker like putting it under your lip color or over as over a topper it, oh. it kind of just blends it and then your yeah. lip color becomes a little darker but it doesn't become purple oh so it's a little bit translucent yes yeah, like, it's, it's, yeah it's translucent yeah. it doesn't come off as this color yeah translucent. um but the one that they do have in stock is the buxom lip gloss it makes your lips feel a little like tingly. So but not, they like make it larger too? I think those are the claims, but <laughs> I think I like it's it's does not hurt. Yeah. Because there is one that I heard that like like Too Faced injection one, like that hurts. Oh yeah. I've heard some really questionable things about it. But that. this one is just like minty and cooling and like That's nice. Like it it feels good. It's not like a Mm -hmm. A bad 
pain. Yeah. And sometimes, like, I do like that pain. Like, when I put on a face mask, I expect <laughs> I expect some level of pain. <laughs> but if all else fails and my lips just feel dry, I'll just go ahead and put on some Vaseline. Mm. And then my lips feel like, okay, they're moisturized. I can rub them together. I can move on with yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to replug this this again <laughs> because it is so moisturizing. I use it as a chapstick. In fact, whenever I like tell someone to grab it for me, I'm like, "Hey, can you get my chapstick?" and it's it's this. <laughs> it's so good. Just get it. Just try it. <laughs> Just get it. Moving on the setting spray. We finished our face. Now we we're finished our face. It on. Um I use this Tasha Tatcha mm -hmm. Dewy Skin Mist. So I didn't actually put it on today. So let's go ahead and you can smell it. Oh, wow. I think something got in my eye. Mm. <laughs> um, I really like it. It smells good. It does last. Um, I, I'll notice that my makeup on the makeup remover wipe yeah. comes off a lot more at the end of the day if I oh, do a cool. few sprays of the Tatcha. I use the Mario Badescu skincare. It's like a facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And I love it because of how natural a lot of the ingredients are. And I, I, I actually like spray it before I put on my BB cream and I spray it afterwards too. And I just, I think I just love the feeling of it. And I don't know if it sets anything. Like I don't put on powder, so I don't know. But it makes me look dewy and feel fresh. Mm -hmm. And I think because we live in Southern California, it gets kind of dry here it's very rarely like humid and yeah, stuff like that it's so hot. yeah so i really love just having dewy skin all the time to the point of looking like i'm sweating <laughs> <laughs> it smells like roses yeah it smells like roses i like it so last we have perfume so i do not use perfume i am an aspiring perfume user <laughs> So if there's anything that I smell like, it's going to be my dry shampoo. No, I love the smell of that anyway. I love the one that's in the cherry one. Mm -hmm. And so if someone's like, oh, you smell good, I'm like, it's the dry shampoo. Yeah. I love that shampoo. I feel like most people compliment my hair when I have it in. They're like, wow, you smell so good. I'm like, I know. <laughs> Um, but for me, like I, I've, I haven't really stepped into the perfume world completely because I think like the price is a little bit steep for me for something that won't actually stay on me very long. Like the smell goes away pretty quickly. But this one, I got a sample of. Mm -hmm. We got a sample of from Sephora a while ago, and I remember loving it. And Arda actually ended up purchasing a roller for me. It's the Tory Burch. That's all I got for you. It's all rubbed <laughs> off. But I use it once in a while. I'll just put it on like my um, my wrists and my my pressure points basically. Like I'll put on my wrists, um, underneath my jawline and like behind my knees, which sounds kind of weird, but it works and it's nice. Um, I don't use this all the time, but what I used to do and what I still do sometimes is I'll use like like these little shower gel bottles, I never actually end up using it. And for some reason, I have a collection of them. <laughs> and so sometimes like I'll just get like a little drop of it and then I'll like move it through my hands and like to kind of tap around my body and my hair. And actually this stays a lot longer than perfume for me. Um, this is the strawberry scent, but I really love like the van any kind of vanilla body wash line, and that usually is just smells amazing. So, I mean, if you want thrifty beauty tips, I'm here for you. <laughs> Maybe one day when we're sophisticated, we'll have more perfume recommendations. Maybe. I think that's 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 everything. Yay! Thanks for watching with us. Watching with us. Thank you for watching this video. We had a lot of fun. Oh, yes. I had a lot yeah. of fun. Hopefully this was informative and helpful. Give you a good spectrum of products that you can try. If you like this video, please give it a like. thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Like, give a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be trying to make more videos, put out more content. So. Remember to subscribe to keep up with that and we'll keep 
we'll keep sticking around. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> that's that's all. So bye. this is us oh. saying bye from, bye from us, us to, to you. you. That was so cute. Good thinking. We should end like that all the time.